Why didn't you? I don't know. Don't you feel sorry for people who are weak? Guess I don't. Why not? Why should I? What I mean is, have you ever had a meaningful emotional experience with a woman that wasn't entirely physical? Are you embarrassed talking about your subversive activities? How are you going to stop us? Well, you're stopped, aren't you? At least temporarily. And they will be stopped because everything you're driving for is founded on a lie. What do they call you up there? They call me Mr. Tibbs. Mr. Tibbs! Well, Mr. Wood, take Mr. Tibbs, take him down to the depot, and I mean boy like now. I was visiting my mother. I came in on the 1235 from Brownsville. I was waiting to go out on the 405. Picked yourself up a couple of hundred dollars. I earned that money, 10 hours a day, seven days a week. Colored can't earn that kind of money. Boy, hell, that's more than I make in a month. Now, where did you earn it? Philadelphia. Mississippi? Pennsylvania. Not just what you do up there, little old Pennsylvania, earn that kind of money? I'm a police officer. We don't want to take any more of your time, Mr. Endicott. Why'd you two come here? To ask you about Mr. Colbert. Let me understand this. You two came here to question me? Well, your... Your attitudes, Mr. Endicott, your points of view are a matter of record. Some people, well, let us say the people who work for Mr. Colbert might reasonably regard you as the person least likely to mourn his passing. We were just trying to clarify some of the evidence. Was Mr. Colbert ever in this greenhouse, say, last night about midnight? <laughs> Gillespie? Yeah. You saw it. Well, I saw it. Well, what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I'll remember that. There was a time when I could have had you shot. What the hell for? Because we'd like to see if they're properly bandaged. You couldn't object to that. What's this about? I'm not going to hurt you. Couldn't be shorter if he bit him. If you're talking about my fingernails, they cut them before they put the bandages on. He always leaves them long and curly. Give me police receiving. Hello. Oh. A prisoner, Woody Garfield, with burnt hands. Just now, did you cut his fingernails? I always wear them long. Always. You can check with my manicurist. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. he's through, you may leave. Huh? You're free to go. Now, look. Don't play games with me. There's no charge. Except reckless driving. <laughs> Mealy Williamson? On your feet. Sure, you've got the guts to bring him in, but have you got the case? Are you going to let me take a look in there? Okay, okay, Lieutenant. I'll get the clothes. Sorry. I want to see them all. 
William Martin, the assistant manager. Uh, te technically the vice president, yes, sir. Where'd you find him? At his home. It looked like we woke him up. Mr. Martin, we don't consider you a suspect, and you don't have to talk to us if you don't want to. Well, naturally, I want to help. If I can. Okay. 